Hello, this is Bob Joyner, and in this video we're going to be talking about day trading with TC2000, and I'm going to be talking about my pre-market process. And the reason I'm talking about this is that you should uh, be able to identify three different stages in your trading day. The first is your pre-market process, and that's how you get ready for the day. The second part is where you're actually doing the trading, you're posting, you're entering, you're exiting, making those trade decisions. And then the after part is after the market is closed, what are you doing with that day? Are you reviewing it? Are you typing some things in your journal? Are you posting some charts? That sort of thing. But today in this video, what we're going to be talking about is just the pre-market process. Now, before I go any further, if you're not currently using TC2000, I highly recommend it. I've been using it personally every day for over a decade and really enjoy it. They continue to update it uh, year after year, making new you know, improvements to the system. So you'll find a link in the description box below this video if you want to take the uh, free trial there. There's no charge for the free download. And there's also a coupon there if you want to subscribe later on. So my pre-market process, I've broken it down into about nine or ten steps, really. So the first thing is is to make sure that you're on the pre-market data. So if you'll take your mouse and your right click in there, you'll see that you can edit the chart properties. And if you go in there, you'll have the choice of always show the latest two sessions, which is what I do. And I click on that. And when it does, it gives me this area that's both pre-market and post-market kind of grayed out there. And I can bring it back. And if I have two different charts set up, I need to do that both for both panels. The next thing you want to do is you want to go up to the top and where it says watch list. Now, in the morning session, I'm recording this after the market has closed. And so we have what's called a post-market. And I can click on that and I can see which stocks are active in post-market. There's also one for pre-market. So I use that pre-market scan to find stocks that are, that are moving and I'd add various columns. I can add all kinds of value columns for, such as price. I can add, for example, the value column of today's volume. So if I want to look at which stocks are moving a lot in uh, aftermarket in this case, I can you know, scan that list and see which ones have the most volume. So that's the next thing you want to do is just bring up that pre-market list so you can see which stocks are moving. Now based on that, you can add your price, you can add your volume, you can add any other uh, if you have some condition scans, you know, like my conditions are here, if I have different things that I want to use, or if I want to look at certain indicator crossovers, I can do all that here in that column as well and sort that list. Now, what I do after that point is I take that list after I've narrowed it down into the stocks that are focused on gaps because that's what we trade in the morning chat room. I'm looking at gap downs and gap ups, and this obviously helps me with that. But I have to cull that list down because the initial list is, you know, over a thousand stocks, and you've got to drill that down to, you know, a handful of stocks that you can look at each day. So after I've done that, I've placed those in these separate watch lists. So for example, there are actually four different watch lists on this chart, on this layout. I've got a watch list set up up here for the stocks that uh, we posted that day in the chat room. I've got a list over here. I can expand that out and get rid of this little chart at the top. I've got a list of the bears, the gap downwards for that day. I've got a list of the gap uppers that day. And down here at the bottom, I've got a list of also stocks that meet certain criteria that I'm looking at for in case they break out in a certain way or another. So I've got four different lists I can look at, and I can make those lists any way I want to. If I'm trading four different strategies, for example, I can have four different watch lists that are all you know, focused on that particular strategy so that I'm not confused as to where I'm looking. Okay, but that's how I've got mine laid out. And of course, you can just move these around any way you want to. I like to keep a chart of the SPY. That's just like a three minute chart of the SPY up here in the top reference. And inside this watch list, of course, you can also add columns. The way I have my charts laid out, I like a two panel chart for day trading purposes. I have a 10 minute Hakanashi chart over here on the far left. And on the right panel over here, I have a two minute chart. And now as the market opens and as I start you know, just I can just go to the top of the list, for example, and just press the space bar or the down arrow on my computer, and I can go through that list very quickly and see if things are setting up the way I want them to. I can also use drawing tools, which are I've got mine placed on the far left, but you can place them anywhere you want to. 
but I can go in here and grab a line if I want to I can color that line if I want to you know if I want to create an alert um, with that line I can just click on that line and say set an alert tell me when such and such crosses over or I can say tell me when my um, Hakanashi trend change line crosses over that particular price point I can have that alert sent to me via email text message a sound on my screen or even a pop-up message on my screen and it helps me stay on top of things so that I don't miss a single trade that way so I can use my alerts in that way I've also got my conditional colored candles as I've mentioned basically what that means is, is I've got six different gradations of red and six different gradations of green there on side inside the colors that are inside these candles here if you want to know more about that I'll put a link in the description box about how you create uh, conditional colored candles inside of TC2000 so you can also create notes I highly encourage you to do some sort of note taking tool either in a journal or right here inside of TC2000 you can just click the little icon there the pencil and you can write a note for this stock ATOS for example and I can also attach a chart if I want to and save that for later review I can do that that's especially interesting if you're doing swing trading and you're doing some analysis one of the other tools that's not part of TC2000 that I like is the snipping tool and I can just go and click new for example and I can go and you know just save that chart and post it inside of a Word document or a Google document so all those are things that you can do here inside of TC2000 again this is my process my process starts early in the morning long before the market ever opens up uh, but if you repeat that process you have that process that you create and then you have a sense of a workflow about uh, and your day seems organized I would also highly encourage you to take some time in each day and just to settle down before the market up opens up calm yourself down do some meditation some deep breathing exercises or whatever and just get focused and centered on what's in front of you on the screen here before your day begins and I wish you well with your trading